Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I wanted to talk to you about how to use um, the distance function in Magic ETL to calculate the difference between cities. Uh, if you've got uh, maybe my instance here, I'm trying to figure out, and hey, we've got a group of people across the United States, and where is the best place for us to meet if we all need to get together? So in order to do that, bring in a few different data sets. One, I bring in the people data set. So just get my list of users uh, in Domo. This is from the Domo stats data set. And then the other thing I bring in is the city zips data set from the Domo dimensions connector. And then a list of airports, which um, I just got off of Wikipedia and uh, it was in a nice table format. So I just copied it to Excel and uploaded it and have that it just looks like this with the airport code city and state uh, going back to the city zips uh, data set a couple things to note in here it did require a little bit of cleanup you see that uh, one row in here the latitude is not valid it's got a letter m instead of um, a number and you can also see there's a number of um, entries in here with a latitude and longitude of zero, which would probably put it out in the ocean. So that's uh, obviously not valid for all of these guys. So uh, kind of the first thing I do is clean up that city zips data set. So one thing I do is get rid of the one with the M, because I know that's the only one in there that's like that. And then the next thing I do is convert the latitude to a decimal once I've cleaned out that the non-numeric entry in there. And then finally, I get rid of all of those ones with the zeros for the latitude and longitude, because I know for the United States, the latitude is always going to be above zero. So I just filter where the latitude is above zero. So then I get my list of valid uh, cities. And then finally, I reduce this down using the remove duplicates tile just because there are you know, a number of cities with multiple zip codes for uh, a city. And I really just need one. Uh, I just need kind of general location where it's at with a single latitude and longitude for each state and city. So if I just use the remove duplicates tile with state and city, then that gets me just a single entry for each city with a latitude and longitude that look look good to me. Then not much going on in the people, just kind of some helpful stuff for demonstration purposes is to one in the data here, I've got um, the location. I break that up from the Domo stats data set, the location where you enter in in the admin section, it's uh, kind of city comma state. I need that as two separate fields. So I split that out on the comma using the split part function. And then also just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show last name for, for people. So trimming any extra spaces using the split part off of the comma, getting the first part would give me the city, using the second part of the comma, using getting the state. So then I can join that with my city zip, which gives me then the latitude and longitude for each person um, where based off of their city. And so then that works out pretty well. Um, oh, and the reason we're seeing nulls right here is because of my preview I only ran 10,000. So it's not getting, it's not showing all of uh, the entries, but those will populate could even just run this real quick uh, to do that. While that's running, uh, the other thing I do is take that same city zip data set and join it to the airports. And again, do it off of state and city. And I'm just gonna toss out those extra columns from the distinct list of cities, getting that from my list of airports. You could choose either one because it's an inner join. It's really not going to matter which one you use. Then you can uh, then set up a join key. I, I need a constant to bring these things 
together. So on this, I can then set a constant here, and then I'm going to join this together on that join key. And so that's going to give me a big join. What that's going to do is join every entry from the people data set with every entry on the airport data set. So for each person, there's, I think, roughly 64 airports in here. So I'm going to get 64 entries in here. And I'm going to, um, so then if I've got 20 people, then that's 20 times 64 is what that's going to end up uh, looking like here for that. Then I can then calculate the distance. And there's a distance function in here, which is pretty, pretty helpful. And if you scroll through here, you can see kind of the explanation of it. Uh, there's a, you want to get your Latin long from city A and your Latin long from city B. So I'm doing the Latin long from the people in the Latin long from the airport. Then it's going to return that in kilometers. So I want to get that in uh, miles. So I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.621371, which you can just Google that saying kilometer to miles and Google will tell you a hey, one kilometer equals 0 0.621371 miles. So that's how you convert that into miles. Then you've got that uh, resulting data set. And then you can build a couple cards off of that. So the one, once I've got that, this card is really straightforward. That you're using the latitude and longitude, um, you know, for point one and point two. So, because we've got those together, we can do that. And it's going to show all those routes. And I could use this then to say, okay, what does it look like if we're all meeting in Charlotte, North Carolina? Then you can see that in the average number of miles traveled is 693. Uh, the other thing you can do is just to know, hey, which one is actually the shortest out of the group. Uh, with all my people selected, then Washington, D.C. is our, our best place to meet. And I could, you know, get rid of a couple people and uh, let it see how it changes and see, hey, is there a better place for us to meet if uh, only a, a different group of people are meeting? Then I can use that quick filter to... Uh, see who, where that goes, what that group uh, looks like would be the best place for us to meet. So that's, um, and this one is pretty straightforward as well. Not needing to do too much here. I'm just taking the airport uh, city and state, putting that in the y-axis, and then just taking the distance that I calculated and doing the average on that. So averaging out everybody and then sorting by the average distance. So pretty straightforward card, and really the um, you know all the work is obviously done in the Magic ETL using that distance function in here and doing the full join on this or rather inner join uh, because I've got uh, the list of all the people and a list of all the airports to uh, do that and doing on the join key so I get everybody joining in there. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, and please read that, reach out if you have any questions about anything. Thanks a lot.